can't, what do you call, I can't, you know, I can't hack on Apple because because uh, we're in business with them, like, tomorrow, you know? Yeah. Oh, I know I'm better solo. Don't think. Don't think. Just know. Know that I'm better solo. Yeah, I am solo. I invented solo. You know, there was like two guys in a plane, and one of them jumped out and said, It's Charlie Sheen. It's called Solo. What the fuck is this, you know? Why? Howard Stern does that. It's lame. It's retarded. It's transparent. It's the fucking work of trolls. Why not just leave that to a man who only wants to talk about anal and stupidity? You know, because he was so fucking ugly his whole fucking life, and now he has, like, power because he's smart. Well, yeah, he is fucking smart. If you can get laid like that, looking the way you fucking look, go for it, buddy. Go for it. Yeah, Solo. It's called Solo because the guy jumped out screaming my name back in 1944. I've got the video. And guess what I'm doing right now? I'm, I'm videoing this phone call because I'm tired of losing all my fucking gold into the fucking ether sphere of fucking stupidity. You're also genuine and loving and open your heart to the people a little bit and we'll miss you more. That's all. And do your thing. Yeah, I know. And my thing is fucking gold and platinum and diamonds and every other precious fucking gem that falls out of fucking losers' buttholes. You know what I'm saying? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you there? Yeah, I'm right here. Hello? Hello? Foiled by a piece of plastic covered in, in light buttons. Lights and buttons and plastic and nothing else. Foiled, I tell you. Are you there? Yeah, I'm right here. Fuck, I hung up on him. Well, looks like the show's been canceled again. This is... Obviously, a weapon. Where is it? Everything's backwards and upside down. There it is. It's the weapon of the trolls. Okay. I'll use it against them one day. Find a way to harness it into 50 caliber strafing runs. Light, you whore. It's kind of an early image. I'm burning my own face, but I can't feel the fucking heat because I don't feel fucking pain because pain is a fucking... Pain is a fucking myth. Pain is, is, is as painful as you want it to be to, to quote the late, great, brilliant, alien, non-human George Carlin. I've already got pain. I don't need pain pills. I need anti-pain pills. You heard all that, right? No, I didn't hear fuck all because I'm using a piece of plastic designed by trolls covered in lights and buttons. Obviously a weapon, but I will turn it against them. It's unbelievable. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to repeat myself really quick, okay? It's just, you, you, don't, you take my advice or you don't take my advice? I love your advice. I, I love your advice because okay. you speak the truth. You, and you're speaking the truth okay. to a truth seeker. Exactly. So we don't have to bullshit each other. No, why? Why? So we can be like them? Right, so we exactly. can fucking be like them? Exactly. Fuck you. Embrace you more. Number one, don't give them too much. You don't have to do an hour. Keep the mystery. Keep a little bit of smoke and mirrors between you and the people so that you're just not, you know, overexposing yourself. But I also think if they want to call you bipolar, fine. Give them both sides. Give them the Charlie Sheen cycle babble, you know, quick word game shit. But then also open your heart to them and really be from me to you, talking right to the people. So they see that there's both sides to you. Here's the thing, there's one there, there, there's one side to me and it's me and it's gnarly and it's crazy and it's, it's more than they deserve, right. it's more than they can process. So to think about, you know, two sides to me is a fucking lie. Because all I'm going to give them is the fucking truth, and I'm going to deliver it in a way that's fucking, that's, that's violent and focused and, 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 you know, not like they're used to, ever. Because they fucking, they're high on vaccines and McDonald's and Us Weekly and TMZ and every, every other fucking shitty brand of food that they consume. Dude, just go out and say that. Just talk like that. Be yourself. And be the only guy on the script, and you'll do fine. That's it. 
Well, I mean, the only guy on this earth. Hey, let's be redundant all morning, Bob. Yeah, okay. I got gotcha. you. All right. So I'm just going to I'm gonna write my sermons. I'm going to deliver them like truth torpedoes, and people are going to fucking take it or leave it. We know they're going to take it because they can't process it, so they must condemn it. And if they can't condemn it, they'll fucking, like, turn me into a god and worship it and then realize that I'm behind them cutting their throats and their children. Call it the 12-minute Sheen machine or the 8-minute Sheen machine and leave it at that. Black no, but, but Sheen's Corner is already ingrained into the pantheon and the lexicon of the whole fucking movement. So we can say Sheen's Corner and the tagline is Torpedoes of Truth. You're either in Sheen's Corner or you're with the trolls. You say, why can't the whole tagline be, you know, um, Violent Torpedoes of Truth. Sheen's Corner, a violent torpedo of truth. You're either with, you know, you're either in my corner or you're with the trolls. Okay. And, and are you going on again tonight? Hold on, I got people, like, trying to get through my brilliance. Um, okay, go ahead. Am I going on tonight? I don't know. I gotta, I gotta get a tweet out there and let them know that uh, last night was, was a shameful train wreck filled with, like, blind, cuddly puppies. A shameful no, train no, no, wreck no, no, filled no, with blind, cuddly puppies. Don't acknowledge that. Fuck. You, last night you had a blast, you had fun, and, and, and you plan to make it more fun. Something like that. Think positive fuck. Don't address any of the bad press, don't address any of the boring doldrums like that. Exactly, because here, here's, here's, here's the truth. You want the truth? I tried to yeah. use their format. I don't fit into their format. Their format is shit. Their format is yeah. cat shit. Their format is cat shit stuck to the bottom of my sprinting shoe. Of my world record breaking sprinting perfect platinum Nike. Yeah, okay, I agree. Give me some blasts. To, to give the people today. I'm going to tell you one thing I'm not going to do again, and I called Brad and told him this in a kind way. I'm not tweeting 15 times to watch the show tonight. I'm not begging for an audience, because that ain't you. That no, no, we bullshit. beg for nothing. Beggars beg. Winners win. Period. The end. Suck it. Didn't make the rules. Oops, am I barfing? Am I barfing? Fuck them if they want to listen. Did I lose you again? Did I lose you again, young Bob Marin? Is it you? Is it you, Bob? Yeah. Okay. Hey, give me a tweet that has nothing to do with Sheen's Corner just to start the day. Tell somebody that you spilled your orange juice in your kitchen. I don't care what you say. Just let's start people off without talking about that. We'll get into that later. That would imply that I care about orange juice and I have a kitchen. <laughs> let's talk about the magic tray. There you go. There you go. There you go. The magic tray is filled with magic. Period. The end. You're lucky when it's revealed to you. You're lucky if you can touch it. You're lucky if you can say the words magic tray. What? Da. Jar. Foiled again. Hello, are you there? We need to hack up the person responsible for this bad connection. Hack him up into pieces in front of his children. We need to hack him. We need to cut off his face and then wear it and go on a really, a, a very tightly budgeted shopping spree in stores that don't exist yet is what we have to do. That's what we have to do, okay? Are we down? You're either down or you're up. Lost you again. All right, I will compose a brilliant tweet. I will send a fastball into the cyber hole of those awaiting something else. Of those awaiting something else. Okay, um, it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. What is that? Um... All right, all I'm saying is this, you know, I want to deliver some shit, and I want to deliver it in a way that is fucking uh, in, the, in the epicenter of, of how I deliver things, which is perfect and truthful and radical and in your face, so far in your face, it grabs your teeth, it shoves them down your freaking throat, and you're like, oh, what a lovely little snack. Wow, it tastes like my teeth, but I don't care, because Sheen delivered it. That's all I care about. I can sit here and pretend like, oh, I fit into their format, I fit into their thing, I'm like a guy that like, ooh, I can do it like Conan or Jay, or boring! I'm just not like that. I'm just not like that. I'll never be like that. And, um, pretty much, suck it. Um, because, you know, fight no more. 
in the middle of a movement here. As I said, I'm cresting my Mercury surfboard atop the, 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 the perfect, the perfect, the perfect something, the perfect everything. Yo, fuck yourself is the perfect everything. We are on a fucking tsunami. We are on a tsunami and didn't make the rules. Lonely up here, but I sure like the fucking view. So, um, it is what it is. What a dumb expression. It is what it is. Yeah, and you are how you are. Clearly. Leave. Goodbye. Boring. Execute it. It is what it is. It is what it is. Really? That's defeat it. So everything around you sucks. It is what it is. And you just accept it and fucking don't move forward and just think that like, hold on, let me close this. I think that's the way it's supposed to be. I don't buy it. I don't agree with it. I don't trust it. I don't care about it. I don't ever want to hear those words put together again. It is what it is. It is what it is. What it was isn't what you thought it is because it is what it is because you claim so, because you confirm it, because you insist that it is what it is and therefore it ain't what it ain't. It ain't what it ain't, which is gold and winning and magic because that's how I roll. Um, and it is what it is. And you're stupid, boring contaminated world because you allowed it. When I say earn yourself, I'm talking about, you know, you already own yourself, not earn yourself. Be about something. Be about something that matters. Get inside the truth. Get inside the truth every single fucking moment and you're going to win. See, the only way you win is inside the truth. Get outside the truth and where are you? You're living in the middle. You're living in the middle and that's where you get slaughtered. Ball field, battlefield, it doesn't matter. You get slaughtered in the middle because in the middle are the fucking sheep, are the trolls. That's all that matters. This is my message to you. Take it, or die violently. Uh, what was this horrible news you just gave me? Are you Betty on camera? Died. Hold on, say it again. Are you on camera? Betty died. Explain who Betty is. Betty is the black pug that used to run around here. Unfortunately... Born on what day? 9-3, like her owner. Oh, wow, I was going to say 4th of July. Yeah. No. Um, no, Betty... 4th of July because her heart exploded like a firecracker. Betty is gone. She was um, 11 years old, which is 77 in dog years. So it's not a bad run. She was in a lot of pain, but she'll be sorely missed. She is here. You will be missed. I give her everything, Benny. Rock and roll. Kick ass in the next dimension. And now Betty's dead. Betty had my birthdays. So Betty and I had an obvious connection. Betty was the shit. Betty was fucking cool as hell. But she's dead, and now she's in another dimension. Um, flashing her razor fangs. Making her owner, her master, proud. And, uh, that's how it goes. People die, dogs die. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Bring them back. <laughs> Good luck. You're not me. Hello? Hey, let me, uh, let me put you on speaker. I'm going to record this one also, okay? Come on, it was brilliant. You loved it. Let's just do a follow-up. <laughs> Even better. No, I'll, I'll, I'll pause it. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Exactly. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if this thing even has speaker, because it's a freaking, you know, built by trolls. Keep that in mind. Phones were built by trolls. Hold on. Hello? Charles. Hold on, let me turn the volume. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I can hear you too. What's going on, man? Okay, first thing, uh, I'm getting ready to do the tweet to Meredith. Okay. It's morning there. You spelled it D-E-H. Is there an I in there? Is it really Meredith? I'm just, I, I forwarded you exactly how she spelled it. If she doesn't know how to spell her own name, then she loses. Oops. <laughs> bye bye Okay, that's... We love you, Meredith. That's it. Okay, next. Um, in, excuse me, no. Yeah, no, I'm okay. I'm a, I'm a Maspugaccio, where are you, in Italyville? Huh? Are you in Italyville still? Yeah, I'm on Rome, and people are giving me free luck. Romato, Maspiganja. Uh, <laughs> Pustagucci. All right, well, I nailed this deal with uh, interns.com. Yeah, and? Brilliant. Please look at the email so that you can give the go-ahead, because 
They want the tweet at before one o'clock today. Okay, okay, that gives us they, like six thousand hours. Record breaker, dude, it's a record breaker. Okay, good. What is it? Guinness. It's eight to six figures. Okay. Okay, great, great, great. Well, as it should be, duh, we're still getting j gypped. <laughs> Have you had your breakfast yet, my friend? No, I'm smoking a cigarette and drinking something I won't reveal. <laughs> Unless they hey, pay me. Okay, uh, what can I do for you? Anything? You can get home and, like, you know, give me a big hug and avoid some eye contact. All right, I'll be, I'll be there to kiss both cheeks and give you a big hug. Would that and be I, facial you know, or buttle? Facial or buttle? Say that again? Would that be facial or buttle? I'm a facial. Okay, we'll start in the facial area. <laughs> okay. Let me just tell you this, Bob. Let me tell you this, okay? Let me tell you this. If you own the home in which you own the trash can. You should never have to empty it ever, ever, ever again. Uh, duly noted. Let me tell you something. My wife, Let me also tell you something. I'm sorry to cut uh, you off. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Night, Hold on. Half minutes. Go ahead. You speak. I'll listen. Jesus crap. Hey, I, <laughs> I took your nod. I woke up. I watched the Ustream. Eight and a half minutes. Thank you for that one. It was fucking brilliant. That's what I thought. Was, fucking brilliant covers it. Thank you. I was a little shocked that you uh, uh, took the liberty to uh, <laughs> play our little fucking conversation without telling me. Thank you. I know, but I did say early on that, that, you know, that this is being recorded because people need to hear my gold as it rolls out, not as it's like disappearing, disappearing like, like so many freaking, you know, magician's rabbits. I'm like everybody else out there, I'm translating. I'm learning the translation as we go. Okay. All right, I love it. All right. And uh, that's it. How can that be it? Like we are in the, in, the, in the middle of a movement here, an odyssey of epic proportions, epic, epic proportions. How can that be it? That's all you have? <laughs> that's all I got to say. Um, listen, all, the, all, all your tweets are up. They're fucking brilliant, as usual. Well, hello, duh. Uh, yeah, I like, I like the show. I'm glad I'm glad you went solo, not to be redundant. I understand. Uh, yeah, well, I'm glad you went solo. You had fun with it, right? I had more than fun. I had me with it. Yeah, I, 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 I like the way you go to Ustream and you see, right when you go to Ustream.com, you see, the, you know, you see the picture of Charlie and you can click on it and watch the show. It's fucking eight minutes. Go ahead. Technology is bitching. People are going to go back and watch it. Top that. Yeah, no, it's radical. It's radical. And the people are doing exactly what they should be doing, which is watching me and listening to you because we have all the answers. We have all the goal. We have all the solution, Bob. And keep in mind, like anytime I roll something out, my plan is the best one in the room. And people are starting to wake up and realize that, that their plan is shit. My plan is gold. Walk into my plan and you're going to win, win, win. Okay, winner. Winner.com. Winner.com. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't think so. Winner, winner, sheen dinner. Excuse me, man. What kind of dog is that? What kind of dog is that? It don't call me right now. Anybody. We're in the middle of genius. Are you there, Bob? What kind of dog is that yeah, you said? Yeah. You said what kind of dog is that? I say it's a sheen dog. What other kind of dog would it be? And it's inhabited, it's, its soul is inhabited by the ghost of Betty, and now it will murder people. It will eat trolls with its razor fangs. And, <laughs> and drop their spleens off at their children's tiny houses. Sir, does that dog move in dog speed? Uh, I'm sorry? Yeah. What? Oh. Foiled by phones and trolls. <laughs> can you hear me, Bobaloo, Bobaloo? Can you hear me? I'm hearing you, buddy. Okay, good, I'm good. Here. Good luck with that. Now you have a magic brain also, Bob. You have a magic brain, therefore you can digest the cipher and completely involve yourself in everything that I speak. Love it. Love it. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. And you're Charlie Sheen. How about this? Now do you... I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Now you go ahead. Um, you have the floor, my friend. Thank you. You finally woke up to that? Hold on, I'm going to drink the secret uh, elixir down below the frame line. I bought you some Patek Philippe souvenirs today. I think you'll enjoy them. I'll try. Hold on. It's 
It's awesome. It's awesome. It's the best drink in the world. But what is it? I won't show it because I haven't been paid for it. It's, it, it, it. it's something for the shrine. You'll like it. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Gina. I'm coming, baby. Gino, I'm coming, baby. I'm going to tell your wife. I'm going to tell your wife. The beautiful city. Hold on, Gina's calling me down the street of the Vio del Corso. We're back on. People are calling through, and it pisses me off because they're, like, interrupting again my brilliance. Yeah, I love that new phone system. Works well. It's insane, isn't it? It's just perfect and beautiful and sucks. <laughs> huh. All right, you loving life, dude? Well, I mean, what's not to love? It's my life. Winning. <laughs> and life's loving you. Yeah, you know, it's about time. It's about time. Hey, I'm going to roll out a, um... As I was saying, because people are calling me to change my number to get rid of these freaking interruptive trolls. As I was saying, I'm going to roll out an infomercial for my poetry book, A Piece of My Mind, illustrated by Ralph Stebbins, I mean, Adam Rifkin. And, uh, I think it's... The, the problem is, not the problem, the solution is... It was 20 years ahead of its time, Babalu. Yeah. And now, and now it is, it is its time. Now everybody's 20 years in the past behind my book, catching up saying, my gosh, where was all this brilliance? And I'm saying it was right there. You had the poetry in your magic fingertips the entire time to flip my perfect pages and read my perfect words. But, but you didn't go there because you judged me, you condemned me, you discarded me. Well, <laughs> not anymore, winning. Hold on, stupid plane with noise attached. Are you going? Are you going on you stream again tonight? You're not playing this, are you? Are you recording this? Hell yeah! <laughs> it's not going up tonight. I don't know when the hell it's going up. It'll go up when I feel right. like the people are ready to receive it. Okay, when the when the when the world evolves. When the world evolves, yeah. Gee, I'll be over here just in, I don't know waiting. Waiting and winning? Waiting and winning. Waiting for everyone to catch up. Waiting for everyone to catch up. Let's tag that. I like that. Well, but, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach out to, uh, who's the founder of Amazon? Jeff Bezos? Is that his name? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to reach out to him because I think we should do my book. Incidentally, the title, best title of all time, Apocalypse Me, The Jaws of Life. Should we get Bezos on the phone? Apocalypse Me, The Jaws of life. That was brilliant. You should see the images. Uh, yeah, get him to call me today because I'm going to sell this thing through Amazon and through Kindle. That way we save a bunch of trees because they give us our oxygen, face it, right? And we love trees. Must keep as many around as we can. Must maybe even marry a tree. Marry a tree because, you know, the other type of marriage for me didn't work. So I'm just going to marry a tree. People keep calling me and interrupting our conversation. Don't they know? Don't they know that we are in... We are in the cyber pocket of greatness and another helicopter. Because they know. Another helicopter. You notice how hell is in the word hell, a copter? Yes. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just pointing something out. I'm just pointing something out. Yeah, let's let's do the Kindle thing with uh, Apocalypse Me, The Jaws of Life, best title ever, Apocalypse best book eight. ever. Love it. Apocalypse Me. Let's that today. Apocalypse Me, The Jaws of Life. <laughs> Come on, if you see that cover, and of course it'll be brilliant and colorful and incorporate all of those elements, if you see that, you're going to buy it. You're going to buy ten copies. If you buy ten copies, I get one free. That's how we roll. <laughs> That's how you roll. Yeah, man. You buy 10, I get one free. You buy 11, you get them all. That's Every buddy wins. And entirely illegal. Unconscionable. And to quote my lawyer, really shitty, shitty, suck, suck. The decision to choose the enemy is generally thought of as, quote, a chaotic and random event fueled by the circumstance of injustice, yet paralleled by the finite rage of purpose." End quote. 1843. However, when the crosshairs land squarely upon the very heart that I call my own, quote, the rules suddenly lose shape, and the bell no longer tolls for the candid meek 
or the battle-weary veteran left behind to guard his soul, end quote. Edgar Allan Mee, 2077. Now that I have your lazy fucking attention, world, sit back and rejoice. For the Malibu Messiah, the condor of Calabasas, the fucking warlock of your jealous face sits before you, undigested hummus trading real estate for this fire dance. I beg you all to stay glued to this raven-wise, Gibson-shredding napalm poet before you, alone and unshackled, as the desperate cries of the soon-forgotten echo freely in my lair, directing your gaze to their silly and sad, legless and dying heartbeats. Beware, I told all, yet beware clearly, I told no one. Canned slabs of jaundiced gorilla pelts fill the plates of those fools and clowns and nabobs. Oh, how they once begged to attend my perfect banquet in the nude. Now they just beg for the keys to my gold. Here is my unwanted guest list. The name slightly altered to keep their stench from polluting my magic daiquiri. Or even worse, stealing my favorite pony. A pony named Steve. His orange mane painted blue. Blue like the evening sky. As he gallops into their basement to acquire the ancient flatware. And a rotting cheese board covered in the mold of their moral dysentery. But of course, a serving tray for the pungent snacks. They must now choke down. Again, the unwanted guest list. Number one, less than Goonves, part scoundrel, part my hair to the side. Screw less, I proclaimed, or better yet, screw more. You gave me your word, so in turn you gave me nothing. It must really suck being your missus. The promise of getting something, yet receiving nothing. In vitro side, all shiny pool boys rejoice and line the block around your house. Sizzle, losing, bye. Number two, Peter Roth, who I will not call sloth. I spare you this revelatory maelstrom of pure exposure, as your heart was always rooted in fairness and hug bonding good tidings. Trust not your evil overlords. They will discard you and then abandon your precious family. Liars and fools, all of them. Get out while you can, good sir. Sheen's Corner could use the bright and sterling presence you led with from day one. You have my digits. Use them. Show your courage, Peter. Come dance in my gold. Number three, Bruce. Bruce, Daisy and Wilt. Shame on you, you much shorter than average fool. And shame on your invalid attempts to shell game this grand magician. My crew now knows the truth. And yes, that is all of their fists pounding on your paper-thin chamber door. They now lead with solid proof of your sordid hypocrisy and yellow spine tactics. Wait, is that an angry mob right in your muck hole? It's over, tiny man. Grab ankles and accept your fate. Wow, <laughs> must really suck being you right now. The pulp of fiction suits you well. Since childhood short, weak, thick glasses, never seen by a goddess, only owned by the bully, like a bitch. Sizzle, losing, bye. Number four. Hiya, Chuck. E. Cheese. Ball. Where you hiding, silly clown? Behind your narcissism? Your greed? Your hatred of yourself? Or women? Which personality are you cowering beneath for transparent cover? I see you, you little worm. I see you. Behind your plastic smile, your bitchy pout and your desperate need to be liked. Forget love. That ship sailed when you were born. To use one of your stupid and unfunny jokes. Good luck with those tin cans, shit brain, and the mush mouth of some pathetic carcass you so arrogantly attempted to trade out for this warlock. Think of me often, loser, during your most quiet moments. All alone in the world, staring into the mirror, your least favorite activity. Think of me as you pray to the silly god of AA while begging refuge from the contaminated image of hatred and dismay that so painfully glares back. Can you smell your soul? Can you smell the rotting dog shit? The fermented puke that is your viscera? Can you smell the lies? Can you smell the carnage you've created? Can you smell the imposter living within? Can you smell the whimpering, scared child you'll never have the courage to embrace? Can you smell your mother's tears from some distant memory as she stared at her pathetic creation Asking all around her why this feeble abortion survived. Can you smell it, Chuck? It smells like malaria, in case you were wondering. 
If sad and stupid had a foul odor attached, it would be you, fuck Bory. You gotta hate that your stage name rhymes with suck. Personally, I find it perfect. Suck and muck. You picked a fight with a warlock, you little worm. Remember this. After that first drink back. The drink you know you want. The drink you can't avoid any longer. How's it taste? How's it feel? Are you whole again? At peace? In love? You are no match for this warlock. My power will consume you every losing day, ugly whore. Let's do a scene, maggot. I speak first, duh. Me. Are you an assailant? Fuck Bory. I'm a showrunner. Me. You'll neither. You're an ugly clown sent by corporate fools to collect your fill. Chew heartily, loser. Shortly from now, you'll have nothing left. <laughs> nothing. How's last night's 2.8 in the demo feel? Ouch. How about last night's 2.6 as well to follow it? Should have gone up instead it went down like you on some $4 trollop. Sizzle, losing, bye. You're all nothing shy of traitors. Your rational egos will be your downfall. Mark this warlock's words. Defeat is not an option. Moving along now to our next item at hand. There has been global speak regarding my tiger blood. And yes, it's real. It's as real as me. To avoid any speculation, I will now allow my precious tiger blood to be extracted. There you go. Those who deserve it, now possess it. Use it wisely. I trust that you will. As I stated earlier, a high treason has occurred. The scales of justice are in a state of radical disarray. Together we must right this infantile wrong. One final note, Sheen's Corner is now for sale as a sports bar. You know where to find me, so I bid you adieu. Stay tuned, good soldiers. I'll see you all very soon on the battlefield. Dog speed.